now that the unit is booted up and the program has come up, uh, I'm going to show you uh, how to shut the unit down. So uh, if you come, it all boots up in the DR run menu, and if you go to the upper right hand corner, there's a stop button. Uh, you can select the stop button, and then you go press close program. And then on the Windows desktop, you have both the FM icon and the shutdown menu. And then what the shutdown menu is, is it goes through the routine of shutting down the entire uh, Windows without you actually having to go down to the start menu and press it. So what, all you have to do is double tap the shutdown menu and then uh, wait until the unit fully shuts it out down. That means the <coughs> screen will turn black and the only thing that will be left is the trico light will be lit up. And now all I have to do is uh, go to the back and uh, switch the switch off, and then you're shut down. Uh, you need to do that procedure every time, just like a normal computer. If you don't, the uh, files are incorrectly written to the, the SD card, and you might get some errors with the computer system. So make sure you shut down and start up properly every time. This section, uh, we're going to prime the unit uh, with the uh, fixer heptane. So there is a procedure to go through uh, if the lines are dry or if the unit's been sitting a long time, uh, the lines will dry up from the tips all the way back. There is three feet of the fixer line uh, all inside the unit. So when, as you draw it out and cut it, uh, you have enough inside. But with the three feet, uh, it takes a long time to prime the system because the, the pumps dispense at such a, a minute rate. So what we're going to do is we're going to open our uh, fixer bay door on our right side of the instrument. And uh, inside, if you pull out uh, the Teflon <coughs> tube with the two smaller tubes, uh, we are going to attach the priming ball, which comes in the parts kit to this, with to pump the uh, heptane in to prime it. We're going to go into our diagnostics screen. We're going to select diagnostics. And then what we're going to do is we're going to turn our fixer uh, pumps to pulse. So you have fixer one pulse and fixer two pulse. So what we're going to do is we're going to press that one and that one. And what you'll hear inside is a small clicking sound. Then with your priming bulb, and what it is is a simple plastic pipette with a, uh, a tubing on the tip of it. Uh, you're going to fill this with heptane, and then you're going to separate these small tubes, and you're going to plug it into the, each one of them into the end and prime the unit with the heptane. So we have heptane in our crystal priming ball. We're going to pull that bristle to the part. To plug it into the tip. And then we're going to squeeze the bulb until the heptane comes out one of the front stations. And see now that we're we're starting to get some heptane on station two. So we're going to turn fixer two off. And then we pull the priming bulb off of the line and plug it into the next one and do the same thing. So we're going to take our priming bulb, pull the heptane, plug it into our next line, squeeze until it comes out the front. So we have something out the front of fixer um, station one. So we're going to stop the fixer and then pull our, this, our priming bulb off and you're complete. Next you're going to take your heptane bottle and you're going to insert it, the Teflon tubing into it. Now make sure the label is facing out because what we have inside here is two sensors and that will tell you uh, where the level is in the bottle and if it gets too low then the the uh, unit will stop and it won't allow you to uh, make a sample. So uh, make sure you have the label facing out uh, so it doesn't confuse the sensors at all.
and I'll slide it in and close the door. So looking at the uh, operating uh, menus, you have the first uh, menu tab, which is the Run FM, and that is going to be your primary tab that uh, you got you, your sampling with your Station 1 and Station 2. It's divided down the center, so everything related to Station 1 is on the left side, and everything related to Station 2 is on the right side. So what you have is an automatic button, and a semi-automatic button, and then a fixer button. The automatic button will go through the entire sample procedure uh, from start to finish, uh, pumping the sample onto the slide, and then uh, putting the fixer down. Whereas the semi-automatic button uh, allows you to stop after the sample is complete uh, to do a wash cycle with fixer. Uh, and it's uh, all preference of the lab uh, on a, what procedure or SOPs, SOPs procedure you want to use. But it is an option. Uh, the fixer button simply uh, dispenses fixer uh, as you hold it. So if you have a slide that has oil on it yet, you can uh, run the fixer for a short amount of time uh, to wash some of the oil off. <coughs> and after you press the fixer button, the waste pump will run for about 30 seconds and then shut off. Uh, at each station, you have a sample light, a fixer light, and a complete light. The sample light, if a sample was placed in the sensor, will turn green. And if the sample is out of the sensor, it will turn black. If it's the sample, if you have a sample in the sample position and the sample is not green, uh, it will not function. So if you press a button, it will blink red at you and it won't work. So <clears throat> make sure that your sample is positioned properly and you have a green light. Your fixer light will turn from black to a yellow. And all that indicates is, is during the cycle that the fixer is being dispensed on your arm. And then the complete button, uh, once the entire program is complete, the complete light will come on green. And that's for each sample, or station one and sample station two. In the middle, <coughs> which pertains to both sides, you have a fixer light and a waste bottle full light. And what will happen is the lights will turn amber and red depending on the, the or how much fluid is in the bottles. So with the fixer bottle, uh, if the fixer was low, it would turn yellow, indicating that your fixer is low and you need to refill it. <coughs> but if you run out of fixer, it will turn red and you will not be able to uh, use any of the buttons to do a sample. Uh, likewise, the waste hole, uh, when the bottle in the waste location gets full, it will turn amber, uh, meaning that you need to uh, take the bottle out and dump it. Or, uh, if it gets too full, it will turn red and you will not be able to uh, run a sample on your stations. And that is just precautionary uh, to keep the bottle from overflowing and being sucked into your waste vacuum pump. Your next tab, tab over, is your configuration tab. And this is a set of configurations for both station one and station two. So you have delay time in minutes uh, for the test. And you also have the fixer time in minutes to run the fixer. They are both uh, set at the default at uh, two for the delay time for the run for the test, and eight for the fixer time in minutes. So the delay time is meaning when your sample uh, is just about to be out. And what it does is the sensor in the sample position triggers your delay time. And it takes approximately two minutes to empty the rest of the vial and the tube onto the slide. But if you're finding that uh, you have some um, sample left in the test tube during uh, the run, uh, you can increase the time by a half a minute, in half a minute intervals, and that way you can get all the sample out of the vial. Likewise, if the <coughs> sample is out of the vial and the unit is still running, uh, what you can do is reduce the time by half a minute, and uh, that way you can speed up your procedure. 
And then your fixture time. And that is just time is when the fixture light comes on, uh, that the fixture will run. So normally it's set at eight minutes. If you find uh, at the end of the cycle that the slide is still wet with an oily film, you can increase the time that your fixer runs by just increasing by half minute intervals until you find something that uh, you like. And likewise, you can reduce the time. If you believe that it takes less time to wash the oil off the slide, you can reduce it. However, this does not change the how fast the fixer comes out. That's uh, not adjustable. Our next menu is our tools menu. And what we have in here is a user manual, the Web Powerful Atlas, and then if we have any external apps, applications that we want to add on, we'll add it onto the screen. Our next tab is the About tab. And what we have is the tricycle information and the website. If you are connected to the internet, you can uh, just tap the, the Trico internet, and of course we're not connected here, but it will go to our website. At the bottom of the About tab, uh, you'll have your unit serial number, and then uh, also the unit uh, model number, and then the version of software that you're running. Our next tab is our Diagnostic tab. So our Diagnostic tab allows us to shut on and off all of the components of the FM to try to uh, hone down on the specific problem if we're running into something. So uh, starting on the top here, and it's divided again down the center for uh, your station one and your station two. Uh, you have uh, your sample on and off, and all this does is it turns the solenoid valve on uh, for your sample side uh, on and off. And if you press it on and off, you should hear a click. The next one is your fixer on and your fixer pulse. And this is to run your fixer uh, on your arms. So all you have to do uh, is to press a button uh, on will dispense it once. Fixer pulse will run it continually. And your fixer off will turn the fixer pump off. And that's likewise on your station two. Below that, you have your waste pump on and off buttons. So you can turn your waste pump on. Any waste pump off. The motor on and off buttons turns your sample motor on and off for your sample pump. And you'll hear a tiny clicking sound in the back indicating that it's rotating. And if you are confused and you don't know what buttons on or off, you can press the all IO off and it'll turn everything off. Or you can turn just a section off, your section side one off or your sample side two off. 